let's talk about parent to child relationship queries first let's see like what is a parent to child relationship query so when you talk about account and contact if i'm querying five accounts i want all of the associated contacts along with it so like there are five five accounts and with those five accounts there might be like 10 accounts associated to one 20 accounts associated to one five accounts associated to one 100 con contacts sorry contacts sorry five contacts associated to one uh 10 contacts associated to one 20 contacts associated to one 50 contacts associated to one so i want all of them i want all of the contacts which are associated to the accounts that i'm querying right or that i'm uh, yeah that i want as a result so in that case what do you think we're going to do so we'll write down an inner query let's see how do we, how we write write it down so parent to child relationship on standard object this is how it works customer relationship means master to relationship we create no it can be master to relationship as well as look up relationship that we create any any type of relationship field that we create so if we create a relationship field it is considered as a custom relationship field if we do not if it is already there then it is a standard relationship field stand object on stand object let's see how it works select name comma number of employees so these are the fields from account i want contacts as well so instead of writing down the so early got up already eight select last name comma phone from contacts so these two are the fields from contact and uh, i mean over here i have not written down a field i have written down an inner query right and after it i have written down from account so it will return all the accounts and all the associated contacts as well too is it clear okay it is not clear let me explain it to you i mean why i have written contacts in here the objects api name is contact Why I have written contacts? So object name is contact, right? It's not contacts. Huh? But the like field API name is uh, is is contact. So whenever you write down a query, select uh, first name comma last name from contact is what you write down. You never write down contacts. So why you have written down contacts in here? so what many no so this is a child relationship name this contacts is a child relationship name so over there it was the field relationship name right or or relationship fields name over here in the inside uh, like in the inner query you'll write down the child relationship name and you must be thinking like what is the child relationship name let me explain it to you very good bindu uh let me go to that account and contact relationship here is a relationship see this is the field name but this is the child relationship name and whenever we create a custom relationship uh, then also we get a get a chance to write down the child relationship name right so this is what child relationship name so whenever it is about writing a query in which there is a parent to child uh, like whenever you want to write down a parent to child relationship query in the inner query you will not write down the object name you will write down the child relationship name that's what it is is it clear okay write down in parent to child relationship queries in parent to child relationship queries we write down an inner query we write down an inner query next point in the inner query in the inner query instead of writing down the object name in the inner query instead of writing down the object name we write down the 
instead of writing down the object name we write down the child relationship name bracket open we can get this child relationship name we can get this child relationship name on the relationship field on the relationship field description on the relationship field description bracket close next point if it is a custom relationship if it is a custom relationship then we'll append this child relationship name then we'll append this child relationship name then we'll append this child relationship name with underscore underscore r name of the accounts oh sorry yeah name of the accounts and associated contacts good question if you are going to use a dot notation then that means that this account has only one contact and you want only one field associated with it right but for a single contact there will be only a single account and we can get the value of it directly but for a single account there can be multiple contacts so we again have to write down an inner clear got it good question by the way oh sorry write it down if you want written done okay so uh, the last point that i uh, made you write down is if this is a custom relationship then we have to append it with underscore underscore r that's all so let's talk about custom objects students in rating so what i want is i want uh, information of all the students uh, or information of 10 students or 20 students and uh, like the, uh, i mean with those students i should get all the ratings associated with it yes or no i mean i can i get that or not so on which object i'm going to write down the query ashok on which object i'm going to write down the query sure student pair and then uh, what i'm going to do to get the rating records associated with it exactly so we'll write down the inner query and uh, how we'll write down the inner query by just like in the field list which which we separate by comma We'll just write down the parentheses, and inside parentheses, we'll write down again a query, which is select whatever field name from child relationship name. And if that child relationship name is custom, then underscore underscore or otherwise it's uh, it's just like that. So let's go and see. So if I want to, let's say, um, oops. what i want to do is see i want to write down a query in which uh, i want student name and student id from student object and rating out of 10 and rating out of uh, rating for from ratings i am going to do that tell me select name comma So why why do we want name? Did I ask ID as well? Yeah, okay. Now, reading. Of ten. From. what is that i mean we'll have to figure it out okay let's leave it for a while what we'll write down over here and then so over here also the like it will be object name only or will it be something else it will always be object name it cannot be child relationship field name or uh, child relationship name it will always be object name but over here it will be child relationship name so how we can get the child relationship name from rating object because that's where i 
I'm I'm on the, onto the reading object now, and I'm gonna go to this one. So, what is the child relationship name? Ratings, right? So, this is the child relationship name, and in this case, what is the field name? Student. That's it. So, we are gonna use in inner query always we use child relationship name. So, over here, I'm gonna use. Ratings, why underscore underscore r? Because this is a custom relationship field. That's it. Is it clear, everyone? That's how it goes. I hope it makes sense, everyone. So let's have a look over here. With custom object, how to write down parent-child relationship? Select name, comma student email, comma student name, and then select name, comma rating for comma rating out of ten from ratings under student school. That's exactly what we have written down over here. I didn't get inner query where under student school is used after from. So this is the child relationship name, and because this uh, relationship field is a custom, we'll have to append it with under student school R. Can we use more than one inner query? No, we cannot. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. The next thing is that only. I didn't get what you explained for the one, the ladies case. Who asked you which case? Who asked? I think you asked the case earlier. Earlier at eight fifteen, five minutes back. What was that? So the question was uh, like why we are using the inner query uh, instead of dot notation. So we can use the dot notation while going from the child to the parent. So we can use the uh, like dot notation while going from child to parent, but the other way around is not possible because there are many contacts associated to a single account, and uh, I mean for that we'll have to write down the inner query. That's what the answer is for that case. I hope it, you got it. I mean you didn't got it. There is account one, there is account two, and there is account three. To this, there are C one, C two, C three related. To this, there are C four and C five related. To this, there are C six, C seven, C eight related. Right. So, if you are writing down the query on contact object, if you are writing down the query on contact object. You can use the dot notation because these contacts are associated to a single account, not to multiple accounts. So there is no problem with that. But when you write down a query on account object, and if you want the associated contacts, so if you write down contact dot name and contact dot first name or contact dot last name or contact dot phone, then in that case the problem is which phone number it will get from C1 or from C2 or from C3. That's there's an ambiguity. So we want all the three records to be there. So that's the reason uh, we'll not use. Dot notation will use inner query. So, yeah. So, like name, student email, student. I mean, it's easy, right? It's like there's nothing in it. All what you have to take care of, if you want to go from child to parent, you just have to write down the dot notation. And if you want to go from come from parent to child, you'll have to write down the inner query because uh, again, parent to child, there can be multiple child. But when going from child to parent, there are there is only one parent that can have that can be there for a single child, right? So you can use dot notation over there. But instead, uh, when it comes to coming from parent to child, there are many contacts that can be associated to a single uh, account, or there can be many child that a parent can have. So in that case, we'll have to write down the inner query. And when we are using the dot notation, we'll have to use the relationship field's name. And when we are using this uh, inner query, we'll have to write down the child relationship. That's only the difference. Okay, is it clear to everyone? 